Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of the most generically named podcast in the world. Today I have again three lovely individuals. I've got the two boys from Jordev. What's up, better guys? Hi. Hello. Got John and Robbie there. And I got another lovely individual himself, Mr. Chris from Chris Crash Games. How's it going, buddy? Hey everybody. So we've got Chris to replace Harry, who's uh dead this week as well. <laughs> RIP <laughs> Harry. Rest, rest in peace, Harry. After we lost Celery Stick, they're dropping like flies, John. How did how did Harry From die this time, Jimmy? Um, I, I don't know. Some kind of uh, horrible exam-related incident. Oh yeah, hit by a train <laughs> on the way to his exams. Maybe it was Bieber fever. <laughs> Speaking of Bieber fever. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why we do this, but we're, we're going to have to do some Bieber news again this week. Of course. It's Bieber news! <laughs> Before we start, let me just ask Chris here. Uh, are, you, are you a believer, Chris? <laughs> I think, you know, I think everybody on the inside is a believer, whether they want to be or not. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. They have no choice. <laughs> I think I'm a repressed believer. I believe I believe that he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. But I have an interesting fact here. I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, you know the song Baby? Yes. Don't make yes. me sing it. All right. Oh, could you? Could you sing <laughs> it for us? No, well, no. In Espanol. How does it how does it go again? <laughs> uh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> Baby? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. familiar. Yep. <laughs> Do you know it's the most uh, liked and disliked video on YouTube? Really? Yeah. At the same time? Yeah. Guess how many Guess how many <laughs> views it has. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. 300 million. How many points if you get it right? I mean, I'm I would guess off the top of my head, 40 mil. <laughs> 40 mil. Way off. I'd say like 500 million. Way off. Really? Higher? Really? Over a billion. Oh, jeez. Over a billion views. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my can, you, God. can you believe it? <laughs> I can, unfortunately. I believe in magic. <laughs> uh, the hilarious thing about it is that it has more dislikes than likes, which yes. made my day. <laughs> yes. We're winning. <laughs> yeah. Take that, Justin uh, Bieber, you twat. Yeah, it's got. I think it's got over a million more dislikes than than likes. Holy crap! Wow, <laughs> and that is crazy. <laughs> it's so fun because it's just like a battleground for for haters and believers to kind of. <laughs> it's so good. That means it's like great. a million. No, that means like how many how many dislikes does it have? It's got what's this two, almost two and a half million, I think. So that means like two and a half million people went to that video and gave it views just to dislike it. <laughs> yeah, if, it's got three and a half. We got millions dislike. or billions of views. Like, just think of all the money we'd rake in from like you know ads and stuff. I know. Okay. We should just I make wonder, pop songs instead of YouTube. <laughs> I wonder how yeah. many of those view those dislikes were like previous Justin Bieber fans. And they went back to the video and was like, I hate it now. And they disliked it. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed my mind. Yeah. I grew up a little Have bit. Have you guys ever done that? Have you ever gone back to a video and disliked a video that you've liked in the past? I don't think I've ever disliked a video. Ever. It's too much work. <laughs> it's too, yeah, exactly. It's just too much. If I don't like it, I'll, just cl- I'll use the click to close the window rather than dislike it. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, I, I like to dislike, you know, if I really don't like a video, I will dislike it to let, like, the creator know that I think it's kind of a crap video. Yeah. Huh. So you're the guy that's been on my videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I can't remember the last time I liked or disliked a video. I watch videos and sometimes I'll find them, you know, excellent and I, I just always forget to like it and I just leave. You're the worst people. I even yeah. didn't dislike Justin Bieber's video. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> However, hey, what you're... hey, I've got, I've, I've actually got two pieces of Bieber news. I'm gonna get it quickly out of the way, though. Okay. 
This, I found this quite funny. There's a guy, there's a 35-year-old guy <laughs> that lives in Jacksonville uh, who was banned from uh, Facebook for no reason at all just because he has the name Justin Bieber. <laughs> 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 really? I was believed that he was using a fake name such as the one of the teen pop sensation. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean banned from Facebook? Well, I think he probably had an account but Justin Bieber wanted it, so they kind of banned it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe oh. not that. They just thought that he was using it to get attention by using the same Yeah. Movie. Oh, poor guy. What a way to go. <laughs> but, yeah. but it says here, the poor guy also gets tons of fan mail, up to 10 letters a day, and calls from fans of the <laughs> star. <laughs> Wait, how shit? is he getting calls? <laughs> Like, he probably had his number on on, on his profile oh, or something. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the fans being idiots, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fans God, being it's twelve. Justin Bieber's phone number. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they just call it like long distance from their parents' home phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's poor so guy. Oh, anyway, speaking of uh, idiots, uh, John, what have you been playing this week? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow! I don't know. How to, I didn't know how to segue other than that. I'm sorry. Wow, that, that was a pretty good segue, actually. Uh, what have I been playing? Poor guys. I don't know. It's pop stars. Wow, or... you're, you're making fun of like my my class status now. <laughs> Young, no, you're not a teen though. Oh, no, I'm not. It's gonna say teen. We'll, we'll just go with we'll go with idiots. You know that was <laughs> that was probably for the best. Yeah, maybe we should change it to like idiot dev or something. Idiot dev. Uh, I was gonna suggest Bieber dev so we could get lots of popularity as well, but uh, I think I like idiot dev better. The best thing about like these podcasts is like we can tag it with Justin Bieber and hopefully it'll get us more views. <laughs> yeah, that's is the he point relevant of still? No, I don't think he is actually. <laughs> so I think it doesn't we're really about work. A year too late for that, weren't we? Yeah, though? we are. Yeah. Um. Okay, what have I been playing? So. Last time we did a podcast, which was like two weeks ago, Jimmy, you mentioned that you've been watching a bunch of a show called Skyrim for Pimps. Yes, the best thing on YouTube. The best thing on YouTube, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah so isn't it, after, it is so good. After that podcast, I went and watched all like 84 episodes in one yeah, week. Yeah, you watched, you've watched more than me now. I'm still on I have, five. yeah. I'm up to date now. Um, but so, you of know, course, that inspired me to play a bunch of Skyrim and like a as well as like watching them play Skyrim, I played like forty hours in a week. <laughs> Damn. And it was it was really nice to get back into Skyrim. I've like kinda toned down the mods. I've still got like ten or fifteen mods, but like I started a brand new game and I finally did the main story because mm -hmm. like nobody does the main story because it's boring as hell. <laughs> it is rather lengthy. It is, and it's yeah, it's tedious. There's lots of tedious dungeons. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been enjoying the, the shit out of Skyrim again. Yeah. And apart from Skyrim, Robbie and I have been playing a game called Necro. Oh um, yes, we did do that. That was lots of fun, actually. Yeah. Cool. Uh, one of my uh, my Don't Starve modder friends, uh, Nick Mick, Mr. Tiddles, uh, suggested the game to me. So I got a couple of keys, and Robbie and I played like an hour and a half of it or something. And I don't really know how to describe it. It's like all I can think of is Magicka. It you... feels like a MOBA, but it's not. Yeah, it's that's the image it's, I had really... in my head. It's Magicka. Yeah, like I don't know why. that's that's the closest thing I can think of, like to compare it to. Um, but it's a really cool game. It's it's a really like old school kind of co op game, in the fact that like one person nice. can be like the main character you guys... and then. Yeah, exactly. And the second player can only be like a really a shitty minion. like default yeah. character. <laughs> <laughs> so like the first player can customize like a bunch and then the second player just like can't do anything. So it's like really old school like that. And Sounds uh like yeah, it's It's, a <laughs> it's it really was good fun, actually. Though. It was yeah. good. It's it's a very very dynamic game. Uh, we were quite surprised at how good it was. So yeah, Necro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, what's cool is your um, your like the second player can die as many times as they want. It, they just have like a respawn cooldown or whatever, like timer. 
Um, but once like the first player or whatever dies, then you restart the whole level. Damn. Yeah. It's yeah. It's it's a good game. It's it's pretty so cheap send, as well. You can just send your buddy forward to like scout the area and stuff. Yeah, exactly. John was just my like uh, meat shield. You could be like a bait. Yeah, it's it's very gory though, like very gory. <laughs> yeah. So kind of like Magicka. Was Magicka gory? Yeah, the, we exploded each other a couple times. I yeah, think. yeah. Yeah, I remember we blew up trolls and things in Magicka. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, Necro. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Have you played Skyrim, Chris? Um, you know, I've played probably a total of like 15 hours, mainly because I don't play it unless I have a good like six hours to sit down and just like, just yeah, yeah. dig Lose into yourself. it, you know? Just really get into it, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I won't play it if I, if I don't have enough time to, to really sit down and relax and just, you know, finish one mission in like, you know, five hours. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. yeah. Are, are you super busy, like, all the time then? Well, having a full-time job, being married, and being an active, you know, in the, the car community in the area, it's hard to really sit down and play games like that, you know? Wow. It's just, yeah. Are it, you kind of weekend recorder? Set yourself pretty up much. Week weekend and, like, late night, yeah. Like, I'll I'll come home, and, like, I'll get home at the earliest, like, 6 o'clock, hang out with the wife a little bit, eat dinner, watch a movie, or watch watch catch up on YouTube videos, and then I'll just yeah. go and just record and research from, like, like 9 o'clock till 1 a.m., wake up and do it all over again. Wow. It's, yeah. it's kind wow. of weird. People, people might, like, don't realize how much time, actually, it sucks out of you <laughs> to it. Yeah. Like I like right now I'm on medical leave so I got all the time in the world to do this. <laughs> but when I, I had, like when I had a, like Monday to Friday job, I just found it impossible. Like I was just so yeah, it's, tired and shit. Yeah, it's it's a really hard. Um, somehow I manage it with very little amount of sleep, but uh, it's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> I always wondered how people would like who are married and have a full time job do YouTube, and you're one of these people. Right yeah, now, one, one of the few. Yeah, it, yeah. it's it, it sounds really, really hard, but my wife is like super supportive and very understanding. She's a gamer herself, but recently she's been like super into uh, uh, crocheting. She's like okay, apparently oh, nice. an eighty year old, and she'll like sit there for like <laughs> for like hours at a time just crocheting. So she kind of like does her thing. I'm upstairs doing my thing and recording. So she she kind of understands that it takes a long time and. And uh, she's usually the first person that that likes and favorites my videos and, and all that good stuff. So that's it's important, cute. Man. <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing that like it. she understands and supports you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I've seen a yeah, couple of threads awesome. on uh, the Let's Play subreddit about <clears throat> people saying, "Oh, their wives have need, they don't have time to do this, and their wives want them don't want them to spend all the time on the computer and stuff." So that's awesome that yeah. she supports them. Yeah, I mean, there was a guy on there, I remember reading that, and some guy was like, yeah, you know, my wife, you know, lets me do this and this and this and gives me my time, but when I actually go to do it, she gets really mad because I'm spending time with myself. It's like, you know, that's kind of not what, a re- like, a marriage is, you know? Like, yeah. you gotta, you you gotta give and take. Space, man. You yeah. Space. yeah, yeah. If you're around each other, like, 24-7, you're gonna get, like, extremely annoyed with each other. Yeah, although I lived with a, I lived with a couple for two years, and and uh, when I was in the UK and they were like my best friends pretty much for four years and they spent every single minute of every single day together it was ridiculous <laughs> but uh, yeah it worked for them though but for me that would just be insane <laughs> yeah it, it's good to have like you time where you can do yeah. whatever you want you don't have to worry about you know feeling like you have to entertain someone you know it's just it, it, it's really the whole give and take you know you know understand each other and, and, and their personal space. Yeah. Thoughts, so Robbie, spending of, uh, every minute together? Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> oh, that, my God. Uh, my I definitely think it takes some getting used to, for sure. Like, it's it's hard to just jump straight into something like that because uh, my girlfriend and I live together. Like, we've been together for almost, like, a year. And, um, yeah, like, she stays here pretty much all the time. You know, she works, and we we used to go to school. We're on, like, summer break now. But um, yeah, like at school, we'd spend every single minute together. At home, we'd spend every single minute together, except when she went off to work for like evenings or whatever. And it's hard to find time to record and whatever because you're sitting there and she has to be quiet because like 
you know, we have the same bedroom, obviously, <laughs> and that's where my computer is. So she has to be quiet for, like, however long I'm recording. And if John and I are recording, like, a five-hour Minecraft series, <laughs> she gets kind of pissed off, understandably, because, you know, she has to sit there for five hours and not make any noise because it gets picked up on the mic. Throw her a DS or something. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what Robbie did. <laughs> I bought her a, a new 3DS in March. That's, that's the solution right there. Uh. Get the Game of Thrones audiobooks. She'll be sucked into that. Oh my god, I couldn't <laughs> imagine listening to some old man drone on about Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, no. That's something I plan to do. Listen uh, to the Game of Thrones this, audiobooks? Yeah, once the season's over. As opposed to, like, reading them? Because you haven't read them, have you? Yeah, I can't be bothered reading them. I'll have someone <laughs> read them to me. <laughs> Audiobooks, like, take so much longer to listen to than just to read the book, though. Yeah, yeah honestly. But... Like, I would listen to them if it was, like, a graphic audio. Have I, Have you guys heard of graphic audio? Um, it's I basically, have. like, cool. it's like an audiobook, but um, they have voice actors and sound effects. So, like, it's... You know, they're narrating the book, but then they have people voicing every single one of the characters, and they have, you know, sound effects going on during combat or whatever the heck's going on. And it's it's actually entertaining. They Like, their slogan is, like, a movie in your mind, and it pretty yeah, much it's is. Like, oh, listening to a movie. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's really awesome, actually. I, I've listened to some books like that, and if they did that for a Game of Thrones, I'd totally listen to it, but I wouldn't listen to it just a regular audiobook with just a narrator. Imagine if they did that for Inception. A... a a book in your mind (laughs) oh that would blow your your head off how would that work Uh, it'd just be in your mind in your mind in your mind in your mind doesn't it rely like a lot on visuals though a mind in your mind (laughs) it wouldn't really have the same effect would it no (laughs) and the floor starts disintegrating around them (laughs) yeah and a building (laughs) flies over them Leo wakes up on beach. <laughs> yeah, oh, very wet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was this guy on that wrote this? <laughs> I need, I need some of that. <laughs> Not seen Inception. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Who is yeah, it? I've seen oh, it. is it Celery that said he saw it five times and didn't understand it? Did he? <laughs> really? <laughs> five five times? <laughs> yeah, but he's dead. So who cares? <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. <right>, Celery. <laughs> wow. Disclaimer once again that none of these people are actually dead. <laughs> yeah. I feel we should add Yet. that. <laughs> yeah. Before someone gets really upset with us. As far yeah. as we know. <laughs> as far as we know, yeah, because fucking Celery doesn't talk to us anymore. <laughs> He's one of those guys who couldn't hold up family life and YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> So, uh, who wants to go next? You, up to you. Right. What are we going next about? Cool. The, the games. Oh, right, games. Jeez, that was so long ago, I almost forgot. I did forget. We're still in the gaming <laughs> section of the podcast. <laughs> I forgot that we were talking about what games we've been playing recently, though. Yeah. I mean, I um, took, like, half your games being Necro. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Necro, what have you been playing, Robbie? Uh, I have recently, like yesterday, I think I recorded a video on the new MMO coming out, Wildstar. Oh. Have you guys heard of it? Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, um, the graphics are pretty similar to WoW, and I I didn't play a whole lot of WoW, but it it reminded me of WoW, but, like, in space. Oh, it's in space? (laughs) Yeah, pretty much it's sci-fi. Are they doing anything different with it, or is it just kind of another generic MMO in a different world? Um, I don't think it's can... generic because, like, they're they're gearing it more towards like the really hardcore WoW players. It's not a casual oh, yeah. MMO. Yeah, oh. no, I think like they've got two factions, so it's like PvP oriented, um, and then oh, they've implemented this really cool double jump into it. Oh wow! You can tap space twice, and you can uh, that's yeah, cool. double jump. Um, one thing I liked about it is that it doesn't have like an accuracy stat you know like a lot of games they have like an accuracy stat uh, and it's like oh you missed because your accuracy wasn't high enough this one yeah, I only played like a melee class 
um, but like when you go to like if you hover over a skill, then it shows you like the area in front of you that that skill hits, and so I guess it hits all targets in that area. So that's mm. kind of cool. I like that. Okay, so there's, there's no missing then. I guess not, as long as you can like that's if good. you aim properly and you're like in their if they're in your like hit range or whatever. Yeah, I hate that's that cool because that never really. Yeah, it never really made too much sense. You, like, swing a sword directly at their face. Oh, you missed! It yeah. makes more sense if you're, like, using, like, a, a ranged weapon that, you know, an accuracy factor would be in there. But, like, yeah. for, like, melee weapons, it seems kind of stupid, you know? Maybe it's, like, a dodge factor, but, you know, I don't know. That's to get on my nerves in Final Fantasy when you missed. Yeah, yeah like, Final Fantasy XIV's like, God like damn that. it. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it seemed pretty generic the customization wasn't great they had like eight different uh, options for a lot of stuff like eight different hairstyles eight colors i really like it when they give you like a giant color palette to choose from for like mm-hmm. eye color hair color whatever and uh, yeah the customization was kind of eh. like you can you know um they have sliders for like how wide you want your nose your jaw your eyes to be a part whatever Shit. but um actual like colors and hairstyles was somewhat lacking i felt I guess it's still like fairly early beta though, so yeah, this... it, was, it was just a beta week thing, so it, yeah. it's still early. And then it was funny while well, I was recording, I noticed one thing: there was like some cutscene right at the beginning, and um, it, like some platform came down, and then as it got to like the bottom, there were two people who were supposed to be standing on it, but uh, I guess for whatever reason the coding was bugged, and they were like on. Like at the bottom, and so the platform actually passed through their heads and the rest of their bodies, <laughs> and then they were standing uh-huh. on it afterwards. Uh, the only, the only same thing I've happened when the platform went up. The only reason why I've heard of Wildstar is the guys that do Skyrim for Pimps did a video on it, which is uh, Christopher Walken and Morgan Freeman play Wildstar. <laughs> 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 it's so good, man. I think I missed that one, actually. I haven't seen that. <laughs> yeah, it was really, I think it was last week sometime. But, uh, I should go yeah, back and watch that. Those guys are hilarious. They're so good. If you guys haven't seen Skyrim for Pimps, go search it and watch that. Yeah, I was trying to get Robbie to watch Skyrim for Pimps. <laughs> yeah, I plan on watching more. John sent me a clip that was pretty funny. <laughs> even, even if you've played Skyrim, all the quests they do, they just they treat it so ridiculously that it, it, makes, <laughs> it makes no sense uh, to the quest whatsoever, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not even they have really good like they have really cool like story elements that they work into it as well yeah. <laughs> <sighs> that's me and Jimmy just fanboying about the pics oh my god they're so funny <laughs> <laughs> they are though they're like so cool I want to beat them I wish I was as cool as them <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Robbie, still any more games? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> have I played anything else? Have you guys Final heard of Fantasy. that 2048 game? Of that what? It's like the 2048 game. It's like a phone app. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you like combine numbers or whatever. I found one which is called Super 2048. And oh. instead of like, I don't remember how big like the 2048 one is, but it's like four times as big. And, like, I've just been playing the same game for, like, a week straight now. Like, I've been in the <laughs> really? same game. I'm at, like, 150,000 points. Oh, my God. Like, that. like, it's just, it's so crazy. It's kind of relaxing. But, yeah, I've just been playing that on my phone whenever, like, you know, I'm sitting around waiting for something. Super 2048. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the have, Android. Have Play you guys Store. seen um, Flappy 2048? What? It's like, <laughs> you, you play Inception. as, like, yeah, it's like you play as the four block, but as you pass, like, like it's a wall of numbers, and you have to hit the the number that's next. Whoa! Yeah, that sounds awesome. It, that's yeah. really clever. It's pretty actually, because it's a little more forgiving. So, like, if you hit the edge, it'll kind of like correct you towards the number. But uh, yeah, it's it's another really addictive game. There's huh. a guy that that's made really cool. Flappy Bird still making money off that, or he. No, he he took it down, but he actually he said down, he's but... bringing it back at the end of August. Yeah, really. So is he? Yeah, it's he's no free. longer we making know why money he from took it. it down. Yeah, um, he said it was. He thought it was too addictive, and he didn't want that. Like he didn't want his game to be like an addictive game, so he what took it do? down. He've, 
He was making ten thousand dollars a day. I don't Jesus want. Christ. I don't want so much money. Uh, <laughs> I hate yeah. money. I hate money. <laughs> I can't spend. Maybe he just didn't want to feel responsible for all the people who wasted their lives playing it. I think that's probably part of it. But yeah, yeah. he he's been working on it since he's taken it down, and he's gonna release like a revamped version at the end of August, I think, and he said it's not going to be as addictive anymore, which is kind of <laughs> weird, because I don't know how you can predict like how addictive your game is going to be. There was an interesting thing a guy did that uh, he analyzed the popularity of Flappy Bird and the date that PewDiePie <laughs> did a video on it, and the kind of the, the graphs coincided of the popularity really? of Flappy Bird and after PewDiePie did a video on it. So it became crazy. really popular. It's crazy the effect that that guy has. Yeah, I mean, well, like, we should go find him and be friends with him, John, so we can get like tons of viewers. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. I bet he doesn't get like a million of those kind of emails a day. <laughs> maybe he has his phone number on his Facebook page. Oh, the maybe most, he does. The most irritating thing is I was watching the a podcast, the, the Co-optional podcast, and this guy was ripping into PewDiePie, but then he said the most annoying thing is that he's a really cool awesome dude <laughs> like he's a really nice guy yeah and you're just like god damn it i wish you were you I feel wish you're an asshole you feel bad for hating him and like i i only hate him because he's so popular probably <laughs> yeah effect. a little no wait no yeah there's a good reason to hate bieber <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> With, a lot yeah, of good reasons Bieber's, it's a yeah, it's a good comparison to make so. bieber and pewdiepie yeah i just can't believe like a gaming channel is that big yeah it's nuts i don't know why i just assumed like the top subscribe channel on youtube wouldn't be like have anything to do with video games i always thought it was kind of like a small part of youtube but no it's like the, probably the biggest part of youtube maybe years ago that would have been the case but nowadays you know youtube and gaming is so popular that everyone's like i think every single person nowadays plays video games I remember when I was a kid, you know, there was, yeah. like, the nerds who played video games and then the cool kids who did sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cool kids. Is that what they I do? Saw, I saw, like, a quote the other day, and it was, like, more kids today want to be YouTube Let's Players than they want to be rock stars. And I was like, yeah, that's probably true, to be honest. Wow. wow. Yeah. Why not More people want to be... I don't know. I've been Sorry. getting quite dispirited with... YouTube and the whole Let's Play yeah. thing. Why? Just, just all the stuff that's happened in the last few weeks, like the stuff with the the guy that broke embargo and stuff. And uh, oh, it's just I've been on these channels and seeing all these people that say all the the comments of "Come check out my channel," and I'm like, "Oh, you dick! I'll click on you. I'll click on you to see how many subs you have, and then I'll leave." And they have like 20,000 subs or people with ridiculous amount of subs and they go on big YouTube channels like Rooster Teeth and they leave comments saying, hey, come check out my channel for no reason. And it's like... Yeah, the most annoying thing is like that actually works for them. They actually get subscribers and from spamming on people's channels. Yeah, It does because I, I went and tried this with one of the videos I made this week. I found another guy that did a similar video and I went on and I just I just went, hey, I uh, was it? It's the bike video that I did. And I went, yeah, I did that. I, I just rode my bike around as well for hours. Uh, it was really fun. I did something similar. You might like it. I didn't say come check it out or whatever. And I just left it at that. And my video mm -hmm. went from like five views to 40 something views in like a few hours. But that was it. God. Wow. And I was like, holy shit, that actually works. It does work, <laughs> but like I still refuse to do it because yeah, if somebody does it on our channel, I ban them immediately. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I fucking, didn't know you did that. Yeah, <laughs> I ban hammer the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I go look and I'm like, it's like uh, review comments because I, I see like it says we have more comments than we actually have, and I'm like, I wonder why it says that. But now I guess it's because you've just gone and ban hammered every single person who's posted something you don't like. On there. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, if they say something I don't like, I usually leave it. If it's like really <laughs> okay, bad, I, then I, I meant like you know one of those um, advertised. Yeah, ads. yeah, they, and, they get banned. Um, there's also there's also people that make all these fake videos. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Have you seen? You must have seen this. Like don't don't starve multiplayer videos. Fake videos. Have you oh, seen, like, like don't starve as a multiplayer mod, right? But it's only local on the same yes. keyboard. Yeah. 
So there's people that go, don't starve multiplayer uh, beta footage or whatever shit. And it's of just course. them with like the multiplayer mod. And he's going, oh, my, I don't have him in Skype because I'm recording. So <laughs> you're like, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, because Robbie and I started uh, a Don't Starve series where like, we're both together in the same room. Robbie's playing and I'm like directing him. Yeah, and I've seen that. like it came out like, like the first episode came out like a week after Don't Starve announced the multiplayer thing. And I was like, we could have so easily called this Don't Starve Together and it would have got so many more views. <laughs> yeah. But it got an, a crazy number of views. Like after the first day it went up, it had like a thousand views or something. Yeah. <laughs> like crazy. I, I don't even know. People are maybe, people maybe, going nuts. Well, like you called it like Don't Starve with Robbie and John. So maybe some people thought it was... Um, yeah, the actual multiplayer thing. It's not but misleading, though. No, we weren't trying to mislead. Mm. I hate it when people do that. Yeah. Well, yeah going Speaking back of... This, yeah, sorry. Well, what about, um, you know, uh, the scummy YouTube practice of you know using, like, nudity or partial nudity in thumbnails that have nothing to do with the video? I hate that so much. Yeah. God. And I yeah, hate it because actually... it's so successful. It is. Have you heard of it a really channel is. called something Babcock? What was it Hannah Babcock? Wait, I've got it written down. Hold on. Some, yeah, it's so, Tara, something. Yeah, Tara Babcock. A it's a. <laughs> it's basically just a girl with gigantic boobs, and uh, uh-huh. she, she does gaming videos, cosplay videos, things like that. And right. Pretty much the only reason it's popular is just because every thumbnail is just boobs. And a bit of face. And, uh, what was her name? I think it's Tara, Bob- Tara Babcock. All right, writing that down oh, for later. The best <laughs> sex. And noted. All right, yeah. Wow. Well, there you um, go. T A R A Babcock. Tara Babcock. RTV number 15, My Weird Fetishes. RTV number 14, Feel Free to Fap. <laughs> yeah, oh, let, let, me read out, let me read out some of her uh, video titles here. They're pretty funny. Oh no, I'm on the wrong channel. I'm on her gaming channel. Holy shit, she's got a gaming channel? What? She's got a gaming <laughs> channel and a vlog channel. Holy well, it's shit. It's like, it's like all I those done? girls on, on Twitch, you know? Like, they're all like taking donations and yeah. stuff. It's like, they've got like their boobs <laughs> hanging out, and they're playing like some game that they're, they're pretending to be really good at. <laughs> They're basically just like live Jasmine at that point. Yeah. Yeah, well... But are they you single know. in my area? <laughs> <laughs> but um, these are the questions we need. I don't know. If Tara you, Babcock is hot. I don't know if you did. You see the whole fiasco with the embargo thing that happened on the Let's Play subreddit, <laughs> Chris? No. What happened? Um, I'll just I'll summarize it. I don't really want to go into it too much, but basically. Well, there's a, this game Bound by Flame, which uh, I got an early key for, and I made all these videos to come out, and they they said there was an embargo on the the game release for uh, Friday, the whatever. And um, on the Friday, I was kind of uploading all my videos. I thought, oh, I'll just search uh, Bound by Flame and see what comes up. And lo and behold, there's all these people that have uploaded almost full Let's Plays of the game already, uh, which kind of... It totally breaks the embargo and uh, getting all these early views and stuff and it's just so annoying man yeah it's, it's just not fair you know like the people that follow the rules and do the right thing they're the ones that like you know get get crapped on you know from the people that are just that will do whatever they want to do yeah, yeah they just don't get noticed as much it's just, it's just disrespectful to the devs and also yeah. unfair to every single other lens player out there and I called the guy out on it on Twitter, and uh, he came on the, the Let's Play subreddit, and he was just a total dick about it as he was well. Such an asshole. <laughs> he was cu- he was calling people like on you know Let's Play subreddit. It's not massive channels, and this guy had like seventy two thousand subs or something. So he was basically just saying, "You're small. Focus on your own channel." Uh, <laughs> just shit like that. Just pissing people yeah. off. <laughs> what a great guy. I saw. And the He's worst, the worst thing about asshole. it was that is he not only broke embargo on his video, he had description tag spamming in his description. 
which and is also fucking annoying. Yeah, for those of you that, that yeah. don't know how it works, YouTube, the algorithm takes kind of keywords from your description in order to relate it to people's searches. So if you if you spam your description with tags like Bound by Flame walkthrough, Bound, Bound by Flame playthrough, then it's going to rank higher in your search. So he's kind of exploiting that, which is totally not uh, against YouTube's terms of service. Yeah, it's completely against the rules. <laughs> I know, yeah. like, YouTube's, like, they've been going through and banning, like, some channels who did that. And there was, like, this one channel that was, like, uh, that she was banned. And she started, like, this trending thing on Twitter to, like, save her channel. And she got it brought back, even though she clearly broke the rules. And, like, that really <laughs> pisses me off just because, she, like, she's a big channel. She, you know, got, hey, like, man, a free pass from she's YouTube. she's YouTube money, they're more likely to do that. Whereas smaller That's channels true, are going to get fucked. Yeah. John, do you remember when we were playing Maple Story? There was a guy named Tiger. Yeah. So this guy, he was number one in Maple Story in like the early versions. Like he number was one. number like like number one, and he was like a big deal. Everyone knew about him, and eventually he <laughs> got banned. And we found out that he got banned because he was like stealing like in-game money, like money that people pay for with real money, like you know cash shop money. Mm. And he was also um, getting like three people to run the account at once like so there were three people who were actually this one guy this one character and they were like in different spots around the world so that they could grind constantly to stay at number one <laughs> wow that is so and so he, he got banned and then he got brought back he, like they had like never ever removed a ban before and they removed his ban and they brought him back even though he like stole money from little kids and, or like they stole money from little kids and they had like three people on one character doing all sorts of... Oh, I, I, I was really pissed off. I was like, how wow. can they do that when there's so many people who get, like, falsely banned and then they're, you know, it's permanent. And then it's, this guy has, like, clearly done something wrong and they just let him come back because he's number one. It's just the big yeah. people get free passes. <laughs> yeah. It's unfair. But the, the saddest, people get the saddest thing about it is that everyone that watched that video has no idea. Like, like that it was... They're just watching it the video because be it's out, yeah. Yeah, they don't know, you know, they're not going to pay attention to either embargoes or the tag spamming. Yeah, I mean, the reason why they, they make embargoes, like I was watching TB talk about it, it's mm -hmm. basically for a promotion bomb. Like if everyone releases it once, you get things trending on Twitter and people talking about it more. But if people break exactly. embargo, it just kind of spoils it. It's, you know, it's just a kick in the face to the, the developer as well. And, like, I was watching the same Total Biscuit video, and I was really surprised by his take on embargoes. His advice was follow the embargo set until you see other people breaking it, and then yeah. fuck the embargo. And I was really <laughs> surprised that he would take that stance. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. Was... It's interesting, though. I, I always like to see what he thinks about, like, the gaming industry stuff. That's why I love his, like, mailbox uh, Q&A videos. <laughs> Mm. The last one he talked about 15 minutes how to make the perfect PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, speaking about being dispirited with YouTube, Chris, what have you been playing this week? <laughs> <laughs> Sick way. <laughs> if, what have I been it playing? Makes no sense whatsoever, but there you go. <laughs> what have I been playing? Yeah. yeah. In video game land. Um, well, I play a lot of indie games and. Also, a lot of web games, um, because, like I said, I don't have a lot of time to sit down and really just you know get involved into a game. Um, I've been playing a, a game called. I've been playing. I've been playing a game called MTB Free Ride. I love that game. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, why hasn't this? Like, I didn't hear about this until like a week ago. And this game, it looks like a solid game. Like, it's got awesome graphics. It's made in Unity, so it's it's a pretty pretty solid gameplay. It's like. It, there's no real um, objective to it. You literally, you're on a mountain bike going down a mountain. And just that alone, you think it's like really boring, but there's jumps, there's like different paths. And also, you're wearing a wingsuit the entire time. And I recently found out <laughs> oh, from shit, one of the guys what? that commented on my video that you can actually switch to the wingsuit, jump off a cliff, and just like wingsuit around the map. You what? Can you jump off your bike? Can you jump wow. off your bike? I, or the bike's probably, still I don't attached. know. I haven't found out yet, but I got I got to play some more and and really figure it out. But it, it's just an, be sick an awesome could, game. Like, and I'd be sick if you could like jump off a cliff, wingsuit, and then land and still be riding your bike. 
<laughs> John, how come you didn't figure this out when you were doing your video of this? Uh, I don't know. I how, how long have you played it? Because I played about twenty minutes just to do like a just a one quick one off video on it. Yeah, well, mine started out as a one off, and then I followed a path. And if you've ever seen The Lion King, you know Pride Rock, like the main. <laughs> I watched like, that on your channel. Actually. Yeah, That's there's like there's like a formation of rocks that look exactly like Pride Rock. Like if you take a picture of Pride Rock from The Lion King. And that picture from the game, it's like the exact same rock formation. And um, oh my god, yeah, I was gonna do a one off, but like the I, I found that rock. I'm like, well, I gotta I gotta make another video because you know, <laughs> this video is already like 12 minutes long. So so I turned it into like a, a mini series, and my, I think I'm gonna do another video with uh, the wingsuit because um, that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, if people <laughs> don't know about it, get on that. Yeah, make that I th- video. I think like. I think Name. the reason MTB Freeride is like still fairly small is simply just because it's on Desura and like that's about it. Yeah, yeah I don't think why. many people know about Desura. Yeah, I don't think I saw about that game. just to play it. Yeah, I did too actually. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it on your channel. I went and checked it out, and the cool thing I saw about it was that it had Oculus Rift support, or is going to. Yeah. Have. Yes. Well, it's not called. It's, it's made Rift for anymore, it though. It? What's it called? Isn't it? What's it called now? They changed the name, didn't they? Some like um, stupid name. I thought it was, I thought it was still Oculus Rift. I don't think Facebook has screwed it up yet. All right, okay. yet. <laughs> but just yeah, I didn't know they changed it. Looking at the game and looking at what the Oculus can do, that would be like the perfect game for me to play on the Oculus. It looks so cool. Do you yeah, have an Oculus? Just like... No, 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 I don't. But yeah. you know, if I did, I want one. Just like going yeah. downhill on your bike, <laughs> doing crazy wingsuit stuff i saw oh someone God. doing like a, a review of the oculus rift way back like when it was first announced and um they they played like some mech like mech assault game you know you're like in a giant robot and you're like fighting other people and their robots and he said that was fine you know it was fun to fly around like he wasn't even playing the objective he was just flying around in his mech suit and he found it really fun but then he went and uh, played like a a realistic driving game and he said he just felt sick the whole time <laughs> like it just huh. gave him motion sickness so i don't know if that would be the same if you're riding the bike yeah celery stick used to get motion sickness playing left for dead i can't imagine <laughs> what would happen if you put an oculus on he got motion sickness from playing minecraft with us oh yeah did i he? remember that yeah he did <laughs> He he asked like he asked for a, for a developer kit from the Oculus Rift guys, and they said no. You can <laughs> yeah. you can buy one if you'd like. Yeah. Of course, it's all about the Benjamins. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> which is good because that that you know that mindset probably put them where they're at now. You know they they've developed it really far. I think development kit two is about to come out in a month or so, and. Um, you know the fact that they've made people buy the developer kits has raised them enough money to, I guess, sell, sell it Facebook. to Facebook, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and make them so much more money. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, man, I can't wait till that becomes quite widespread technology. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just hoping for like Sword what's Art the... Online level of stuff. So what's what's the That'd Sony really version cool. of that? Um, they're coming out with one, aren't they? Yeah. I'm not really following it, but I know that they've got their own version of it. Yeah, I don't know if it's out yet or anything, but I know there's, yeah, Sony's definitely doing something with it. <laughs> I was looking, Project, I'm looking at the sorry. Wikipedia page for the Oculus Rift, and I was looking at C also to see if there was that Sony thing in there, and there's this thing called the Virtuix Omni, which is a Rift compatible omnidirectional treadmill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're in a big that, sphere, aren't you? Yeah, you're like I haven't a little seen anything circle about it, but thing. that sounds really cool. You can like go on a walk wherever you want. <laughs> Sorry, the Sony one is called Project Morpheus. Yes, Ooh. sounds way cooler than. Well, it sounds Oculus Rift cool, sounds right? pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, they both sound cool. Yeah, they did pretty well on name choices. I'm glad they didn't call it like the Neo headset or some shit. <laughs> Virtual reality the one. Keanu experience. <laughs> hey, dude. Check out my VR. Dude. <laughs> dude. 
Anything else you've been playing, Chris, that you want to tell us about that's super cool? You know, um, there's there's not a lot of big games that I play. Um, Fake Zoo is another one that I made a video of. And uh, I think some guy posted it on, on Reddit zoo. somewhere. Yeah, it's called Fake Zoo. Basically, you are a zookeeper of a zoo. You own the zoo. And all of a sudden, you lost all of your funding and you've replaced all the animals because they died off apparently you replace all the animals with animatronics and your job (laughs) as the zookeeper is to control Mm -hmm. the robot the robot animals to make the audience believe that they're real animals and entertain them that sounds amazing that sounds sounds like a great game game. it's it's a really unique game i I think it was a one of the ludum dare games and uh it it's it's awesome you have a giraffe and a dolphin and um, in my video, I was playing around with the buttons because they're like they don't tell you what they do. It's just like here's a control panel. Good luck. Well, I was just pressing a bunch of buttons, and all of a sudden, my giraffe started flying and hovering in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that, that was a really cool game. I, I love games like that where it's just you know anything can happen. It, bugs are the best thing to me. Um, that's why I know you guys talked about it before. Goat Simulator. You know, I think the best part about that game is all the bugs, and I think the fact that the developer has embraced that. That's what has made that game as big as it is. Yeah, it's yeah, half, it is half genius awesome. and half laziness. Yeah, Jimmy yeah. has some very strong kind of, thoughts on that. Uh, there's, so. there's a fine line of you know this game is unplayable buggy to this game is hilarious buggy. Yeah, I broke that game in ten seconds. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> I saw I that video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that but, was a um, good video. <laughs> you know, I've. Goat Simulator, I was only pissed off about Goat Simulator just because of how it was not exploited, but kind of squeezed dry by every single YouTuber. Yeah, it was squeezed dry so quickly as well, eh? Yep. <laughs> I did three videos, it's, it's or thing four the... videos, just got out. I mean, the mods are cool, but that's about that's about it. Yeah. I just did the one video, the one intro video, and I remember I found out in it, actually, I think, like, I, did you guys find the, the jetpack? You must have found, like, the jetpack and tried to fly around. Yeah. No. Yeah. It is, like, impossible to fly <laughs> properly with that stupid jetpack. I found out that, like, I accidentally licked this guy's arm, like, this guy's corpse, and I found out that if you have, like, that guy dangling behind you, it makes you fly super straight, and you can actually fly with the jetpack, and that's just, like, <laughs> complete chance. If you have his arm licked, and he's just trailing along Go behind to. you while you're using the jetpack <laughs> just like real life if you lick a guy you'll fly straight <laughs> yeah <laughs> and if that guy's on ecstasy <laughs> if you lick a guy you'll go straight what <laughs> what <laughs> is that right is that how that works i think i think that's right yeah yeah sounds right <laughs> lick a guy always straight for that day or something <laughs> the old saying as long as you're licking them you'll be straight yeah. Mm. As long as you're not <laughs> doing something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Speaking of licking, I've been playing Tomb Raider this week. Oh, yeah. The Pretty the old. new one? The new one, yeah. Pretty old at this point, but it still looks fantastic. Is, is it I good? I bought the new one it's like really a good. year ago, and I haven't played it at all. Yeah, I've had it for about a year. You guys played and then they released the... like the HD version or whatever, and I was like, oh, I could have had that. Like, <laughs> oh. They're releasing it for PS4, like remas- re- redoing all the graphics and stuff. It looks so pretty. Ooh, and it already yes, looks oh. really nice on the PC. Yeah. But you'll like it if you like Uncharted games and... Um, and That's Tomb Raider much, games. It's yeah, <laughs> pretty much all I can relate it to. Uncharted. It's a really good game. It's a really good shooter. Yeah, I've heard like good puzzles. So many good things about it. Is it yeah. third person? Third person, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, does it like have a, like a an Assassin's Creed like feel to it? Yeah. No, uh, not really. <laughs> not, not really, no. It's like environmental okay. puzzles, isn't it? Like you use your environment around you to, you know, get to the next yeah, area. Yeah, it's like environmental puzzles in the tombs, and then you got areas with enemies, and you've got a bow, a machine gun, pistol, shotgun, that kind of thing. So it's kind of like she, awesome. 
it's kind of like combat theater into combat theater then you jump around solve puzzles and then combat and then etc etc which sounds kind of boring but you know some of the set pieces are really awesome does she fall over in every cutscene? Yes. Don't play <laughs> I've it with heard your speakers that. on if you got your if if you have your mother in the other room, don't play it with your speakers on. Because it sounds like it sounds like, she's... like really rough porn. <laughs> 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 yeah, she basically she'll go to jump on something and for no reason the floor will collapse, she'll fall down a cliff. Uh, she's got like an arrow in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. If you if you play the Uncharted games, you know what I'm talking about. Like Nathan Drake just like falls out of a plane, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, now those I know are what, like the two things. Now I know Sorry. what to mask my uh, my my hardcore porn with. <laughs> Tomb Raider. <laughs> no, mom. Tomb just no, playing mom, Tomb, Tomb Raider, Raider, dear. <laughs> it's Tomb Raider. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. It, it, I promise. There's nothing going on. It's Wound Raider. Probably. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna start right, right now. I made see whether there's a see whether there's a porn called Wound Raider. I bet there is. <laughs> see here. Dare Tomb Raider right game. <laughs> Jimmy will play a game fine. called Wound Raider, where it's like Tomb Raider, but like. There's a lot of photoshopped photos of. Oh my. Oh goodness me! <laughs> it exists. <laughs> rule thirty-four. Wow. Yep, rule 34. Google image search. <laughs> Save search off. <laughs> just wow. Did you just search Womb Raider? I did. Yeah. There's a trailer mm. on YouTube, so it can't be that bad. Let's have a look. Oh, then there's just a picture of a hand with a little baby in it. That's cute. <laughs> but anyway, oh. <laughs> other games I've been playing. Uh, I guess I could talk about Bound by Flame, which I've been playing. Which yeah, all, yeah. I I don't really know anything about Bound Bound by Flame, to be honest. I I've never oh. heard of it before. It's so. an action RPG, kind of in the same realm as games like The Witcher or Dragon Age Origins. If that oh, okay. rings any bells. You play yeah. you play a mercenary who gets possessed by a demon and you got to make choices in the game good and bad. There's a uh, things called the dr- dead walkers which are <laughs> pretty much like white walkers from Game of Thrones and zombies. That was the first thing I thought of when you said it. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. But um yeah, it's made by a pretty small studio. And um uh, action, yeah, it's action RPG. Is but, it um, turn based? No, you kind of you get into combat and it's kind of fluid combat. You got your block, That's pretty cool. attack, and then outside of combat, you got all your RPG stuff like crafting armor, making stuff, uh, upgrading stats, getting perks and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool game for. For what it is, I don't think it's worth the price. It's like 39, 30 bucks or 40 bucks. I thought it was only like 20 or something. No, it's 30 something on Steam, I think. Oh, yeah, it's 39.99. Holy shit. Jesus. <laughs> Which is, I think it's a wow. bit much. I would wait until it's on sale if you're going to buy it. Which it's probably going to go on sale soon because it's way too Probably some, oh, summer, summer sales, sales coming soon. July. Yeah. yeah. But got a good crafting system but the combat is just really hard and I've watched a few reviews and everyone says the same thing is that the combat is just way too hard and spoils the game like if you Doesn't watch my have... if you watch my playthrough I just die a whole bunch it's really oh. hard <laughs> and I, it... when I'm playing I'm like shit I'm so bad at this or the game is really fucking hard yeah it doesn't have a very good meta score but like you can't always judge based on the meta score no. Yeah. It's got 57%. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty low, damn. Yeah, a lot of like bad reviews on Steam as well. But like the top two are recommended. I think hmm. the so reason I, I why... Know. I think the price kind of sets it up to be almost a AAA title. Whereas yeah. it's, it's not. It's pretty short. I mean, the voice acting is alright. The story is pretty bland. Uh... 
you got limited character creation options. So there really, there really is. isn't a whole bunch to it. But it's a good game for what it is, I think. It's enjoyable. But just a bit overpriced. But I think my opinion is biased because I got it for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. How long is the campaign? Do you know off the top of your head? This, uh, some reviews say you can blast through the campaign in like 12, 13 hours. That's not that short. <laughs> no, yeah, for really. A, like, there's a lot RPG, of games though. now. Well, it's about average. Yeah, I suppose for an RPG, like, yeah, a, a lot of JRPGs take hours and hours. Like, you know, thirty hours, maybe you're done the story, not including side quests and stuff. Yeah, and, like, yeah. completing the game. You know, it's just story is like at least thirty hours. What's that game? Dragon's so. Dogma. Is that what it's called? What? Dragon's Pet Dog. Dragon's <laughs> Dog. Dragon Dogma. That game. I have no uh, idea. I've never heard of it. <laughs> no idea what you're thinking of. Um, uh, I think yeah, Dragon's uh, Dogma, isn't it? I have no idea. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> never mind. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's not called. I think Dragon's you're making Dogma. stuff up, actually. Some, something Dogma. People will know what I'm talking about. Will they? That game, <laughs> do- the Dogma game with the dragons. Let us know in the comments below if you know what the hell Jimmy's talking about. But, you know, there's four of us here with gaming channels, and, you know, three of us are like, what the hell are you even talking yeah, about? Yeah, what? <laughs> 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 well, old Tiger Electronic game. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're just crazy, Jimmy. Ooh, something dogma, I swear. <laughs> well, whatever. Never mind. We'll leave it to the fans. If If you guys know, let us know. <laughs> Maybe one of yeah. the fans will create you a game called Dragon Dogma. Yeah. A beautiful <laughs> Flash game. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, we'll just, if you we'll do just... do that, then uh, yeah, post it in the comments if you make a Flash game called Dragon Dogma. And we'll play it. <laughs> I'll play we'll it. You know what? Videos I've, about it. I've pretty much at this point given up trying to give away Don't Starve. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't yeah, fucking get, nobody commented last time. I can't time. get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. Chris, do you have Don't Starve? I I don't, actually. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. There you go. You can have a copy of Don't Starve. <laughs> it's meant Are we for... meeting in the dark alley? <laughs> 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 hey, man, I got your fix. You want some Don't Starve? <laughs> yeah, it's in a little plastic baggie. <laughs> I don't know. Do I think I we, should wait till, uh, we should wait till the multiplayer comes out. And when we do our little videos on that, we'll, 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 get, we'll do that as a, as a giveaway. That's true, we can do a grand giveaway. Yeah. Or I don't know. (laughs) Or once again, if you've if you've made it this far and you don't have Don't Star, if you can comment below and ask for it, I suppose. Yeah, ask me. I can't imagine that many people on our channel don't have Don't Starve. Yeah, nobody on our channel will. If I can get a thousand views in a day, like with a Don't Star video, I I can't imagine that, you know, people don't have Don't (laughs) Starve. Yeah. Crazy people. They can get two <laughs> copies of Don't Starve. Do you Why have two not? copies? I suppose once you redeem it, it doesn't really work, does it? Well, I mean, once you receive no. the gift, you can't send it again. No, no, you can't. <laughs> right, All right then. Just one copy. Oh, well, we're over an hour now. We should wrap this up, unless you guys want to go on for a bit more. No, you I guys think an hour is... I'm good. An hour, as usual, is a pretty pretty good time. I think. I think we yeah, talked about people don't really want to watch super long podcasts. You know, I mean, there's not all that much stuff that's super interesting to actually watch. You know, it's like I a mean, screen yeah. unless you got like. We talked about mainly old games, apart from Wildstar and what else? And Womb Raider. And <laughs> <laughs> but E three uh. is coming up. Oh, I'm so excited for E3, except Nintendo's not yeah, even going to be there this year. <laughs> How about we <laughs> run through Nintendo. what we're quickly excited for in E3? Uh, I'm excited to see what is announced about Halo 5. They call it Halo 5, like Halo 5 Guardians, which I think is kind of a rip-off, because y- you guys know that like Halo was made by Bungie, and yeah. then Bungie oh. went off with like their contract Destiny. ended, and they went and made um, 
destiny, and they call like the the you know main characters, you know whatever the soldiers, guardians, and then uh-huh. these guys, you know, who ma- who are making Halo called Halo Five, Halo Five Guardians, and I think that, I thought was kind of weird. That's pretty douchey. Mm. Yeah, um, but I'm excited Still to see what game. they do with it. And then maybe some Pokemon. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire footage would be well, kind of cool. Isn't, isn't Nintendo not going to be at E3? I guess not at E3, but I think they're doing something like they're on doing their, their own, own thing, yeah. Around then, so are they ever yeah. really at E3? <laughs> no, they were like two years ago, but not last year. Don't they do their stuff with like Best Buy? They go, you can go play a tournament at Best Buy when E3's on. Really? Yeah, I think so. I th- I, I think. Hmm. No idea. Never heard of anything like that. My ass here. Probably once again. I'm excited to see Battlefront, which is uh, it's like the Star Wars version of Battlefield. Oh my god! Star Wars Three Battlefront would be amazing. Is it being announced at E3? I think it will be. Yeah. This is Battlefront Three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. (laughs) Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Battlefront Two was so good. Yeah, yeah John and I played Battlefront 2 when we were wee lads. Yeah, it was great. Lads. Get excited the... then, guys. This is going to be the next gen. Yeah, that's awesome. going to be so good. Also, yeah, I'll I, buy it. I'll pre-order it. I got a feeling Mass Effect 4 is going to be announced. Oh, oh okay. Which will be like a reboot of the series because they said the original was a a closed trilogy, so this one's going to be like new, sh- new shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Which will be exciting. I haven't played any Mass Effect yet. No, I've I've read Mass Effect books, and I, I like read through one book, and I was like, "Oh, this is boring." And for some reason, I bought a second book, and I read <laughs> I read it, and I was like, "This is even more boring." <laughs> I just I can't get myself to play the games now. Maybe the books are just so. I have a cinematic uh, audio book of Mass Effect. <laughs> a movie in your mind. I played the first one on 360, and didn't play it for like a year, and then I picked it up and finished the rest of it in like two days. Wow! Would <laughs> you Mass give it a Effect? chance? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I've heard it's mm. super good. Like one of my friends, he, I know he had the games for a long time, and then he just like went through all three of them in like a couple of weeks or something. He was just raving about them for a while. So yeah, I'll probably pick them up on the summer sale. To be honest, yeah. Well. I think is there anything else it. happening at E3? Apparently, um, Uncharted 4 is going to be announced as well. There might be a trailer for that. Oh, oh okay. I think... Which, I'm, uh, not, they, I'm not following. They say it will blow your mind. Ooh. Oh. So, yeah, there's that. So They'll there's probably that. announce, like, Assassin's Creed 5 as well. I, I played, like, Assassin's Creed 1 through 3, like, religiously, and then 4 came out, and I started playing it, and I just, like, uh, I got yeah. bored. Did you not finish it? No, I still haven't finished it. I had it oh like I pre ordered it and I went and picked it up like the day it came out and everything and I I've played like maybe two hours of it and I just haven't picked it up. Like my Xbox isn't even plugged in anymore. You loved Assassin's Creed though. I did. Like I, I hundred percented the I think it was Assassin's Creed Revelations. I hundred percented it in under a week while I was like attending university. Like there was one night where I was up till like I was like midnight, I was like, Oh I have to go to sleep soon so I can, you know, <laughs> go to school and then like I looked at the clock again you know I thought you know maybe like an hour later it was 7 in the morning and I was like well <laughs> shit I guess I should just keep playing until school yeah. I was, no I was point at, going to sleep now when I was at uni I, I bought uh, the Ezio trilogy at a uh, cash converters like really cheap I was like well I'll play through all these but I, I just got bored of it man I don't know what, what it was yeah I got <laughs> so yeah. bored in the first game <laughs> Really well, the first game is boring and repetitive as hell. But anyway, guys, yeah. I think we should wrap up here. It's been a pleasure as usual. It's been a yeah. fantastic podcast once again. Thanks for joining yeah, us, great. Chris. Thanks for having me. It was fun. And yeah, love, thanks, Chris. We'd love to have you back. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been uh, what we call It's a Podcast, the most generically named <laughs> podcast in the world. <laughs> I like it. It's a cool name. <laughs> it's like the whole, you know, virtual reality headset thing, you know. What you gonna yeah. do with yeah. the podcast, huh? Wow. I'm glad we've always had that jingle. <laughs> what you gonna do? 
All right, it's a goodbye All right, from well, me then. It's a goodbye from me. And maybe a goodbye from me too. And I'm going to hang around, so I want to see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, yeah, Chris. Bye. Uh, we'll just let you keep keep going and then, you know, send us what you got and uh, people can just listen to you rant on for however long. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing and it'll, it'll be a nice show. <laughs> cool. Right, you. Sounds good. Peace out, Bye. Guys. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.